Hey guys, what's going on? I am standing in front of this 2022 32 RBFQ. It comes out weighing a little bit under 9,000 pounds and has a tip to tip length of 36 feet, 11 inches. I wanted to come outside because we have had crappy weather and it is a gorgeous day out. So I wanted to show you some of the uh, really awesome campers that we have here on the lot today. Uh, so getting started here on the outside, you have your powered tongue jack, two 30 pound propane tanks are just behind there some diamond plating at the bottom of your front cap and this just helps protect it from road debris, gravel and such. Smooth front cap, aluminum siding and then as you can see you have no slide outs here on your camping side. So you have all of this outdoor living space to take advantage of. A huge power awning along with that and it also has a uh, LED light strip. And then behind here you actually have some additional storage that you can get to from the inside. So I'll talk about that a little bit more once we get in there. Front and rear power stabilizing jacks, solid steps leading up into your coach, oversized grab handle. This also has the extended season package, access to your water heaters right here, fresh water connection outside of your uh, furnace. Moving along, you have a bracket for a TV if you want one. Next to it is your black tank flush. And there of course is power outside shower, outside speakers, and even though your awning ends right here, uh, the entrance into your gigantic outside kitchen can also double as an awning with the door because it's super tall. So this is a fully equipped outside kitchen. You have this huge mini fridge, a microwave out here that is stainless steel, cabinet storage space, some lights so you can still be outside cooking even if it gets dark outside, a sink, drawer storage, and a pull-out gray stone griddle with an LP quick connect underneath. So really awesome and you also have power um, accessibility so if you wanted to charge your electronics you can so I thought that was really awesome. Rear ladder, you are prepped for a rear observation camera, spare tire, You have three slide outs on your non-camping side. And then right here is actually some storage that leads underneath your master bedroom. And you also can get to that from the inside as well. So let me show you the inside of this camper real quick. As soon as you come in to the right is your master bedroom, queen size bed, and you can lift up for some extra storage. I really love that Puma uh, puts their beds in the slide outs because you have all of this walking space here in front of it. And tables are on both sides. You have some cabinets there above. All the way at the front of your camper is your wardrobe. You have four entrances into it and it's all one big open space. Once you do open the doors, shelf as well. Next to that is your uh, storage compartment that I was telling you about. It's actually a spot where you are prepped for a washer and dryer unit, but you can also just use this for your extra storage. Shelf up there. And then at the foot of your bed, you have a dresser just for some extra space. Countertop space too. I've actually seen people put their TVs on top of there, but if you'd rather hang one up, you can do that. And then as soon as we leave our master bedroom, you have a couple hooks right across the way and then your convenience center to access all of your controls. On the opposite wall, you have your entertainment center, 31 inch electric fireplace down below. I like the fake stonework around it, so it really looks like a fireplace, um, but this kicks or actually gives off some heat. So if you are into early or late season camping, you really can take advantage of that or you can just have those lights going without the heat, uh, you know, on with it. 40 inch LED swivel TV and then right down below in between is your Bluetooth speaker system. That's where you can connect your phone for those inside and outside speakers. Jackknife sofa, the middle cushion folds down in two cup holders, but this can uh, also fold down into a sleeping space. The armrests are removable. A few storage compartments are there above and a nice window in the back. You actually can open it up for a breeze to come in. Same thing with your huge window behind your dinette. USB port so you can charge electronics while you are relaxing on your couch. And then getting into our kitchen space. Before I forget, our sale price is looking at $42,985. 
I love the white kitchen. I think it looks great um, compared to your darker toned leather furniture. They just did a really awesome job. You have your uh, storage here down below. Stainless steel mounted sink with a half roll up cover, half cutting board slash sink covers. So you can use this for extra countertop space, but you also have a cutting board that comes with it and a rack for your dishes to dry. Spray faucet. Couple outlets are on either side of your window, so you can have some smaller appliances plugged in there. Storage is above. Microwave range hood. Three burner stove top with a glass cover. Stainless steel refrigerator. It's really good size. And then getting back to our slide out, humongous U-shaped dinette. You have some storage underneath both seating compartments. Um, but this one actually has a little cloth to basket that comes with it so you can put your pet's toys in here um i don't know if you you're like me but i definitely collect my socks in there because i'm losing them all the time you can kind of use it for whatever uh, outlet is mounted in the base of your booth dinette and this also converts into a sleeping space i love this light pendant i think it looks really pretty and your camper also comes with this decal wall art before showing you the rest, you have some extra storage right here. Uh, maybe put some pantry goods in there. And then coming in here, we have our bathroom. Rounded out shower uh, with a clear glass door so it makes it feel a lot more open. Skylight and vent fan. And then of course your medicine cabinet. Stainless steel rounded out bowl, uh, sink bowl. Toilet paper holder, power outlet, soap holder and toothbrush holder. More storage and then your foot flush toilet. So I guess this storage right here is actually for your bathroom. You can have your towels and stuff in there. And then finally, I think the best part of the entire coach is this bunk room. This thing is just ginormous. It's a great spot for your kids to run around and play. Or if you have older kids, this is a good spot for them or your friends too. Starting here to the right, you have your first bunk. It is latchable. So if you're wanting to sit down in this jackknife sofa, um, you can do so without hitting your head. And this also converts into a sleeping space. Just like the other one, you have your built-in cup holders. Outlets and USB ports are pretty much everywhere. And then turning around is a spot for a TV for your kiddos, some storage, a ladder that can be put away too. So no one is tripping and falling over it. Um, but lots of sleeping spaces for your kids or guests. And there's a lot of features that I think you guys will love. Um, so if you have any questions about this camper, leave a comment, send us a message, and we'll get back with you.